Do you fear God? I think for many of us, the idea of fearing God brings to mind the Old Testament images of the Israelites being terrified of God's wrath for something that they did or didn't do. You know, they strayed so many times. They deserved his anger countless times. But when we think of fear of God, what do you think? What do you think about? What does that mean for you, fear of God? For, I would say most of us, the our image of God, particularly God the Father, is based on our relationship and the image of a father that we had growing up. So, so our relationship with God the Father tends to be an echo of our relationship with our human father. So if we had a father who was overbearing or especially strict, easy to, to level punishments and things like that, that's going to be our image of God. And so when we feel like we've been unworthy of his love, we've sinned, we've committed some kind of, of negligence of some kind, we, we are afraid of that same kind of punishment, that same kind of repercussions that we experienced from our human fathers. Now, if we've had a really great, you know, earthly father, then our image of the heavenly father will tend to be a little more balanced. But where does fear play into this? A, a balanced fear of God is very important to our spiritual life. So when I say fear of God, I don't mean cowering in terror from him, hiding away from him, and, and truly, uh, you know, averting your eyes, so to speak, and heart, you know, not, not wanting to get too close because he's just so big and terrible and powerful. Now, this kind of fear of God is something that you and I both need to further our relationship with him. Think of it this way. Think about the person you love most in the world, whoever that is. Could be a mom or a dad, a sibling, a significant other, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, or your spouse, the, the person you love most in the world. And you think about how to please that person. You want to see them smile. You want to feel close to them. You want to feel loved by them. You want their approval. Well, so it is with our relationship with God the Father. Well, we should have that. So we should be concerned about hurting him. We should be concerned about offending him. We should look forward to his smile upon us. We should wonder about his his opinion of us, his judgment of us, not judgment as in levying punishment, but I mean his, his, the way he sees us, this should be a big concern to us. We should have a healthy fear of offending God. Why? Because he's so great. Not because we're terrified of punishment, but because we fear offending him. You know, when you love someone, oh, so very much. You don't want to do the tiniest little thing to offend them. You want them always to be happy. You want your relationship with them to always be happy. It's the same thing with God. We want our relationship with God to always be happy, always on a positive note, so that we don't have to cower in fear, wondering what's going to come next if we've done something against him, against his wishes, his will, his commandments. That's a healthy fear of God to respect. I think, I think you know, fear of God is one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. And it's phrased just that, fear of God. I would dare to say that it might be helpful, particularly those who have had a very tough human father and have that image in their heads, that fear, fear of God might be replaced with awe of God. To be in awe of his power, to be in awe of his love for you because he loves you more than you can ever imagine. 
He loves you uniquely and individually. If you were the only person ever created, he would love you with all his might. And he loves you with all his might right now. For you. Not because of what you've done, not because of what you didn't do, but because of who you are. Well, it's the same in the flip side in that we should have this awe of God, of his magnificence and his love, his power, his might, his goodness, his mercy. I could go on and on and on with all of the amazing attributes of God. We should be in awe of him because he's just so awesome. (laughs) There's really no other word for it. He is so awesome. We should be in awe of him. And so for that reason, be very careful not to offend him. We certainly don't want to fall into a life of sin. We don't want to do anything that would separate us from God or and ruin our chances of getting to heaven because we want to spend eternity with God in heaven. That's what it's all about, a fear of God. So if you fear God, Make it a balanced fear of God. Respect his power, might, judgment, justice, but be in awe of his goodness and love and mercy for you. That's a healthy and balanced fear of God. No cowering, only love. Hey, do me a favor. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this video so that others will learn to develop a healthy balanced fear of God. Please check out my website, marchfenelin.com. Get my free ebook, Nine Prayers I See Every Day. You're going to love those prayers. You don't have to say them all every day, but they are extremely powerful, helpful prayers. Marchfenelin.com. My books are there. My speaking engagements are there. My blog is there. And my Simply Holy audio podcast. Hey, it's all there at marchfenelin.com. Subscribe to this channel and please have a great day in awe and fear, healthy, balanced fear of God. God bless you.